Hello, welcome to our semiconductor education program. I'm Vincent Chan. Today, I'm going to teach you how to solve the Poisson's equation within the depression layer. Depression layer part two: How to solve Poisson's equation. So first of all, let's write down, put down the Poisson's equation. Specifically for semiconductor material, d square v d s square equals negative electronic charge, fundamental charge, which is a positive constant, divided by permittivity of the semiconductor times the charge concentration. But there are four types of charge concentration present in exist in a semiconductor. Positive donor atom concentration, positive donor ion. Excuse me, positive donor ion concentration. Negative positive donor ion concentration. Negative acceptor ion concentration, and then positive hole carrier concentration. The last one, the negative conduction electron carrier. Concentration, so positive, negative, positive, negative, right? Positive, negative, positive, negative, right? Because it's the depletion layer. We're gonna apply this onto, put this onto the depletion region, depletion layer. What what do you mean by the depletion layer, depletion region? Because it's depleted. Who got depleted? Charge carrier, mobile charge carrier got depleted, which means. The P and the N are extremely sl- small compared to the both side, both neutral region. So for this reason, we can simply neglect the third and the last term. Okay, the third term and the last term. Okay, we can neglect the positive hole concentration and the negative electron concentration within. The depletion region. Why? Because it is extremely small compared to the outside. Okay. Compared to also the donor atom concentration, the donor ion concentration, and the acceptor ion concentration. So now, let's start writing the Poisson's equation specifically for the left hand side. So it's the between negative x p and the zero. All right, between negative x p and zero. Okay, within the left hand side of the depression layer, it's acceptor ion. Right, there's no donor. There's no donor ion. So the donor part is gone, and then negative cancel. Just pay attention to the look at the. The Poisson's equation. So negative and the negative got cancel out, cancelled out. So it becomes the positive. Okay. So make sure we get this right. So it's the positive Q N A minus over epsilon s, and then under again the complete ionization. So N A minus equals N A. So it becomes this Q N A divided by epsilon s. What about the right hand side? So for the right hand side, there is no, there will be no, no what, no acceptor. So it's only donor ion. So only the first term. So it's a negative Q N D positive over epsilon s. Again, the N D positive equals N D complete ionization. All right. So this is a set of. So the first step is to put down. The set of a set of the governing equation, the Poisson's equation. Okay, so the blue one for the left hand side and the purple one for the right. And then what's the next one? Integration. Because charge, remember the lesson you learned from the previous lecture. Charge, and then what? And then field, electric field, and then what? The potential. Okay. 
So if charge distribution is constant, then what? Electric field is the distribution is going to be a line. It's going to be linear. Okay? So let's do the integration. So pay attention to the negative sign. Negative dv dx. So we need a negative sign and the x. So constant. So negative x. And then what? Boundary condition. So the boundary condition at the left hand side boundary where x equals negative xp, the field should be zero. Okay? So parenthesis x plus plus xp. Satisfy two things. Two things are satisfied. Number one, linear, right? X. Number two, the boundary condition. If you plug in x equals negative xp, then field will become zero. Similarly, you can put down the right, okay? So it becomes what? Positive, okay? So positive Q and D epsilon S, and then what? Then X parenthesis, X minus XN, like this, okay? So double check. The left-hand side, the slope of the first one is negative. And the slope of the second one of the right-hand side is positive, okay? Good. And then let's move, let's take this opportunity to find out the value of the maximum electric field, okay? You can simply just put on, just plug in the x equals zero for the blue one. You can also plug in x equals zero for the purple one, okay? And this also, not only gives you the expression for maximum electric field, but also support the previous concept of what? Of the overall charge neutrality you learned from the previous lesson, remember? AP equals DN, NA times XP equals ND times Xn. So now, let's move forward to the potential part. Okay, so electric field is linear, line, and then potential is going to be a second order polynomial. Second order polynomial. Okay, it's going to go like this. But to be honest, um, for a device engineer, we don't really care the mathematical behavior of the potential. But we care, we care less about the mathematical function, the behavior of the potential distribution. But we do care more on what? On the difference, the potential difference. So which is the area of the triangle, okay? the area of the triangle. So the built-in potential, the area of the triangle is easy, right? The base, depletion layer width, WD. The height, the maximum electric field divided by two. So now, because the maximum electric field has been solved, so we can simply just plug in either of this into the equation on the top, which will, this will give you the expression for the building potential or the relationship between the building potential, which you already, you already know how to solve this, and, and what? And the depletion layer worth we are trying to figure out in this lecture, okay? So now we still need the one, this one, from the previous lecture. The relationship between the, the XP, which means the left-hand side of the depression layer, and the, the total depression layer width. So you can plug in this, then you will, you, you will have the WD squared. 
All right, you have the WD squared. So now, because the building potential, you already know, right? You already know about the building potential. But what, what is unknown? The depletion layer width. So you got to kind of flip around and change to the WD, the depletion layer width, in terms of what? In terms of building potential, dopen concentration, permittivity, fundamental charge. Okay. Again, okay. building. So the build depletion layer worth depends on the building potential. Dopant concentration, impurity concentration, acceptor atom concentration, donor atom concentration, permittivity, and fundamental charge. Right? Fundamental charge. So now, here's the takeaway. So once you get the dopant concentration, the PN junction is formed, the dopant concentration, then you will have the building potential, right? VT natural log. Acceptor atom concentration times donor atom concentration divided by intrinsic carrier concentration squared. And then the building potential plug into the square root. And also the dopant concentration plug in, then the depression layer can be solved. The depression layer worth can be solved. This is the major takeaway of this lecture. So this lecture, in summary, we're starting from writing a Poisson's equation and going through from charge to electric field distribution, integration, constant, linear, and then integration again to the potential distribution and try to get the building potential, which is equal what? The area of the triangle, we found the relationship between the building potential and the depletion layer square, the WD square. Then this is the final outcome, the final result. Okay, I hope you learned something from this lecture. Enjoy the lecture. Thanks for watching.